and welcome back to HLS Crypto. My name is Dan. I'll just shove myself over there. So what HBAR and Quant Whales know that you don't, this is massive. Now, I'm obviously a big holder of Quant and, and, uh, and HBAR, and, and I think they're both fantastic projects. So for a few reasons now, we've been talking about, uh, for a few videos, we've been talking about low cap, you know, micro cap crypto gems, which are fun to do, and they're fun to have a small allocation in, and they have potential to make us all huge Xs come the 2025 bull run. I do like to allocate, you know, a little percentage of the portfolio to some of these things that can really run hard, um, particularly ones that have got low market caps and, you know, are not very widely discussed. But I always say that to have a safe, solid crypto, have safe, solid cryptos in your portfolio, and that will offset a large amount of risk when the big and new money starts flying into the crypto space. And that big and new money will come. It will come, especially as we run in 2025. Two products that I hold and I've continued to DCA into without fail is Quant and HBAR. Both are huge projects and both are gearing up to have great bull runs. I have no doubt about that. Now, a lot of people have been bored by holding these projects, and I get that feeling. I understand it from the sentiment of the channel, from the sentiment of crypto in general. I understand that a lot of people get bored with Quant and with HBAR. Uh, but they see Casper flying up, you know, in the market cap rankings, all the other altcoins, or not all of them, but some of them, you know, are growing so fast and it gets into people's heads. They start to panic. They start to get restless start to second guess their conviction into the projects that they, they you know, first invested in, the likes of HBAR, the likes of Quant. But this is where like a solid mindset will help you, right? So chasing the next big thing in crypto doesn't work often, and you'll be left with a far lower investment than you had if you just held your nerve. So why Quant and HBAR? Well, both are massive, but what other boxes do they tick? So if we look at HBAR, again, obviously come, and, come and look at the websites yourselves, but... It's just one of these constant growing um, companies. If you look at their the the numbers going up there, that then they don't lie. They're they're big numbers and they're coming up all the time. Average cost per transaction, obviously the the, the energy usage per transaction as well, which is going to be key because vast amount of governments and stuff like that are all um, incentivized to find things that that uh, reduce the carbon footprint and, and things like that. That's not necessarily something that I really care too much about in that regard but it does help with the adoption by the big companies. So HBAR, as we know, has a absolutely monstrous um, amount of a governing council, right? And there are still some slots to fill. So there's still a few slots there, nine slots. But look at some of the companies that, these, that are, are partnered up with HBAR. The governing council, it's immense. And if you think that that some of these companies are going to go, oh, that's fine, you know, I'll let it, we'll let it go to zero, then absolutely not, absolutely not. Boeing, massive money, massive money. They're not stupid. They're not sitting there going, you know, they're not invested in, you know, Enu, Dodge, Jokey, Doki coin. You know, these are serious, serious players. You've got Dell in there. You've got Deutsche Telekom, massive communication service in Germany. Uh, used to own T-Mobile in England, and I think still own big a big part of T-Mobile America. You've got EDF, um, Google. Google do not invest in things that they expect to go to zero. IBM, um, EDF Energy. We, we've gone through these before, but LG, Standard Bank, um, Ubisoft, these are all massive companies. They are not going to let their investment just dip to absolutely nothing. But what they will do is is they'll sit there, they'll they'll look at the market sentiment just the same way as everyone else. And when people start thinking, oh, HBAR is not moving, HBAR is not moving, what they'll do is, is they'll they'll happily buy them. They'll happily buy them off you. They have no they have no concerns about doing that. If you look at the uh, X.com page uh, for HBAR itself, it's 313,000 followers, which is massive um, and will continue to grow, particularly as we get into that 2025 bull run. I have no doubt about that. Uh, there's also a, a post by HBAR recently saying that um, it's with that COP28, you know, like the United Nations kind of thing, and everyone's trying to scale their their climate change levels, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know my thoughts on that. But it is big because, you know, big institutions, big companies, governments, things like that, are all going to be incentivized and incentivizing um, green projects and things like that. And HBAR ticks the box in that. It also ticks the box for who's working with it. It ticks the box for how many big institutions are willing to play with HBAR. And the good news is it is starting to move up now. Um, so it's at, it's at six cents, nearly, you know, approaching seven cents. It's 4.4% up on the day. The tokenomics are absolutely fine as well. There's your 24-hour chart. Um, I think we're about, what, how far away now? We're 
88% from all-time high. Uh, but if you look at this max chart, and this is going to become apparent to a lot of investors in these kind of projects, that you can see what happened uh, back in, in 2021. Like, it started to spike and it hit, it's obviously its all-time high. I expect it to go for, far further than that this time round. If we look at the coin perspective, um, if HBAR had a market cap of, let me just move my head slightly out of the way, a market cap um, of, say, say we think it'll go back to its all-time high, right? So if we do, I think it was 0. 0.59 cents roughly. So that's an upside of 7, 79% just from there, making it a, a $19.8 billion market cap. But if we go further and we say it's a dollar, that's a 14x um, and only a 33.6 market cap. You know, could it go to two dollars quite conceivably? Again, 67.2 billion dollar market cap. And some prices are saying four. Four dollars um, is 134 billion dollar market cap, an upside of 59x in a safe, or we consider a safeish play. There will be a lot of people taking pro profits on these on the, on this token because when it approaches back, because a lot of people would have bought at all time high, and they're looking to obviously try and you know at least make some money back. However, do I think it'll go to four dollars? No, I don't think it's going to go to four dollars this bull run. I don't. Um, but conceivably, uh, two two dollars fifty. You know, an upside of thirty six x eighty three billion dollar market cap. That's not quite what Ada got to back in twenty twenty one. But this is you know Ada did it with um with kind of like a speculation almost. HBAR's building. It's constantly building. It's been building through the bear market. It's massively important. Uh, over to Quant as well. I've said this before. Gilbert Verdian, the guy is an absolute machine when it comes to having a well-connected group of people. You've got, he was on the Digital Power Foundation. He's working with some of the biggest governments in the world. He's, you know, it's Italy, uh, the USA, Korea, um, the, the obviously the Federal Reserve. You've got the Bank of England. He doesn't mess about. He has, he's probably the most connected guy in the entire space, in my opinion. Uh, I've spoken about him before. Um, whether I agree with every all of his ethos and that, you know, is, is, is another matter entirely. But what I do understand is, is these things are connected. And again, you know, when when institutions really start thinking about this, and and I would imagine they've already got a large amount of quant, um, they're gonna they, this this coin will go really really well. The project is immense. And then you've got quant's partners. You've got Lackchain, massive, SIA or SIA, huge. Um, you've got Oracle. That's the largest database management company in the world. These these companies don't partner with you know a joke coin or a joke project. You know, Quant has got so many legs, so many legs. If you look at quantx.com page, you've got 139.8 thousand followers, and that will grow, as I said before, it'll grow again. Because this is not like this is not the one that the, the it's not a retail hype coin. It's it's a it's a the overledger, everything about quant is all geared up to do very, very well. If you look at this, this is a, a post from at Dread Bong Zero. Uh, Quant communicated that they were directly helping the Bank of Italy with their interoperability needs. They also have deep connections with the Central Bank of Korea. The only technology and company that is positioned to enable this cooperation is Overledger and the Quant Network. Now, we know that they're working with all these massive um, government organizations right across the world. And the introduction of CBDCs, whether I like that or not, is, 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 is highly likely. And so many of these places and, and countries and governments are building with the overledger in mind. And the scarcity, again, which is what I've said before, the scarcity of quant is ludicrous. The, the max supply is 14.6 million. There is no more. There is no more after that. And you're going to need quant to use the overledger. It's going to be paid. It's going to be part of the payment process for the fees. Uh, and the price has moved. Congratulations if you managed to hold. I've held all my quant. I, I, I will continue to add to my quant. Um, the, I'm not going to be selling this anytime soon, but it's up to 100, $112 now, um, which is great. You know, we're, we're seeing that move up. If you look at its 24 hour chart, it's looking nice. It's looking up, consolidate, up, consolidate, up, consolidate. I'm happy with that. Uh, and we're only 73% away now from uh, the previous all time high. Max chart, again, you'll see exactly what Quant can do when it loads. There it is. It just went vertical. And I fully expect that to do that again come the bull run. So how high can Quant go? So at the minute, you can see that we've got a $1.6 billion market cap. But if we say that Quant goes, and I think this is a minimum expectation, uh, $1,000 a Quant is my my like minimum uh, prediction for the coin because it's, it's where I would consider starting to layer out. 
don't know why it's not quite working at the minute. We'll have a little play with that. Let's try and do it this way. So 10x. So a $1,300 or $1,113 quant is a 902% upside. So $16.2 billion market cap. I don't think that's that's unachievable at all. And then if you look at a higher upside, so for $32.4 billion market cap, an upside of 19x would make quant 2,276. I'll just see if this lets us do this. So for instance, if we go to, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, so we'll, we'll ignore that because it doesn't seem to want us, want us to uh, do that. If I try it, I'll try and move it out of the way. Five, no, it's not letting us do it. So for instance, we'll do it over here. No, actually, we'll just do it here. So 20x. I mean, I think it can go far higher. People have been calling for $5,000 quant. Again, I don't think that's happening in this particular bull run, but a $5,000 quant still is around Ada's market cap or Ada's all-time high market cap, which isn't unachievable. This project is so solid, such great fundamentals. The tokenomics are superb. The, the, found, the, 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 the owner is just crazily connected. Is there a world where quant can't succeed? And I don't, I don't see one. Um, have you got any, your, what, what are your predictions? I mean, do you hold Quant? Do you hold HBAR? Uh, let me know in the comments how high do you think they can both go? I think it's quite important uh, because it has that discussion because a lot, not a lot of people are really talking about these anymore. They feel as though they're kind of dead projects, but the actual opposite is true. And not to mention as well with Quant, you've got so many uh, non-disclosure agreements. I mean, they, they are so connected. There is so many non-disclosure agreements that are rumored and, spe and spoken about behind the scenes that I imagine that Quant have got their fingers in far more pies than even we're aware of. Um, so it is very interesting. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please smash the like button. I really do appreciate you guys do that. Subscriber-wise now, we're chasing down 2,300 subscribers. Can we hit 3,000 subscribers by Christmas Day? That is the goal. That's the aim. Uh, so I really appreciate everyone who's taking their time to do that. Share the video if you think someone will benefit from it. Uh, that is also greatly appreciated. Wherever you are in the world, whatever you are doing, have an amazing day. Have an amazing evening. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Goodbye.